So the other night I had a blonde from I think Demolin. I wasn't super impressed with it. Um, and I do love a good blonde. Um, this one is another view from International Beer Collector. It's La Chouf Blonde. I love La Chouf. They do some really, really good stuff. And this one's 8% alcohol. So I'm kicking off me Saturday night with that. Um, it's a paler colour than the Demolin one. Oh, yum. There's no Sriracha Yase, unfortunately. I do love that, that hot, but like banana, there's a light metallic note. It might be a touch too cold. Spiciness and bready malt. Yummy. Metallic note is detracting a touch. Um, but there's a lovely, like, fresh toast of bread crust, um, malt character to it. Touch of graininess in there. You get a little bit of ice and acetate. Lovely peppery note, like really, really yeast driven. A touch of yeastiness in there. Medium firm bitterness. Um, it's just, it's a firm bitterness. I think it's lingering in the aftertaste. Sweet up front, medium full body. Pretty dry finish, that bitterness really helps dry it out. High carbonation, it all helps dry it out. 8% alcohol is pretty well hidden. Bit of warming in the chest. It's it's not as good as I expected from Le Chouf. Like I love, Belgian Blondes seem to have this real complexity to them and eminent drinkability. And this is nice and drinkable, but I wouldn't want too many of them in, not in a row anyway. Nice beer, I just think it needs a little more finesse or something. Um, which, as I said, surprised me from La Chouf, but we all need to be surprised every now and then.